Hello, buddy. It's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am Dakin Morning, Trump Battle Police Officers, Firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who took life in line of duty in 2021. And unfortunately, tonight for our last mile, we're running for a fallen fire chief who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen fire chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr. He worked with the Campobello Fire Department in South Carolina, and his end of watch was March 4th, 2021. And lost his life after uh, following a fatal heart attack hours hours later um, after responding to a call of a residential structure fire that was officially that was that was in the end called off um, he was 69 years old time is passing served 44 amazing years in the fire service he leaves behind a wife and other loving family members tonight i'm running with the red line flag in his honor i'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school which is the equivalent of one mile in his honor Tonight I'll be joined by the Maitland Police Department, Orange County Sheriff's Office, and the U.S. Border Patrol, who are going to be running. Uh, sorry, who are going to be patrolling with me tonight? We are also joined by the Central Florida First Responders, Backpacks, and Drums, who are going to be playing tunes during the run. We're also joined by many supporters and my whole family tonight for the run as well. Even though it seems like I'm the only one running, at the same time there's even more running, and it's all the fall night I've ran for. I know they're all running is here tonight, including Fallen Fire Chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr. Before it starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and apartment. It's a hard time they're going through, and they'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zachary running his third mile of the evening. This mile, in honor of a fallen fire chief that has lost his life in the line of duty, fallen fire chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr. He worked with the Campobello Fire Department in South Carolina. His last alarm was March the 4th, 2021. Tragically, he lost his life after suffering a fatal ha uh, heart attack just hours after responding to a residential structure fire call that ultimately was called off. He was 69 years old, served an amazing 44 years. As a member of the Campobello Fire Department in South Carolina, leaves behind a wife, as well as other loving family members. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor Chief McNeil tonight. We are always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zachariah as he pays tribute to them. Helping pay, paying tribute tonight to Fallen Fire Chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr. We have multiple members of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. We also have patrolling behind Zachariah, neighboring agency, the Maitland Police Department. Also joining Zachariah tonight, we have multiple members of the U.S. Border Patrol here tonight as well. Once again, we're all here to pay tribute to a 44-year veteran of fire services, fallen fire chief William Edward Eddie McNeil Jr. of the Campobello Fire Department, South Carolina, whose last alarm is March the 4th, 2021, tragically lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack shortly after responding to a fire call. Zachariah now completing his second lap to honor Fire Chief McNeil tonight. Every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. 
this flag, a red line flag, will get sent to the Campobello Fire Department and will be delivered to the family. Fallen Fire Chief William Eddie Edward McNeil Jr. along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier this evening. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm gonna go silent for the duration of the run as the bagpipes will play. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Chief William McNeil Jr.'s family, especially his wife. Our prayers also go out to everybody with the Campobello Fire Department mourning the loss of their beloved chief. We hope this run honors him well and pays tribute to the amazing 44 years that he dedicated to his community. May God bless the McNeil family and the Campobello Fire Department as we honor Chief McNeil.
So I've got any final words for the family of fallen fire chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr. I've been fallen fire chief William Edward, also known as Eddie McNeil Jr.'s whole family, and Edward at the Campobello Fire Department in South Carolina. He also did his hard time. He was an amazing man, one who served 44 amazing years in the, in the fire uh, service. You know, that's such an incredible amount of time and such a long amount of time as well. He was 69 years old at the time of passing as well. So he was one of the, uh, he was on the older side when it comes to first responding, which is truly incredible because you know, the fact that he was 69 years old and was still, uh, you know, inspired and dedicated towards being a fire chief um, and continuing to serve is truly incredible. And you know, I know lots of you may think that, you know, fire chief, police chiefs or heads of departments for first responders, um, they don't go out to the calls, but as you can see here, um, you, you can know that the fire chief, William uh, Edward McNeil, he uh, still went out to some calls and still helped and saved lots of people at the same time as making sure he has amazing firefighters to go and serve and protect their community as well. So, you know, overall, just an amazing man. Uh, he left behind a wife as well, and other, other loving family members. So I just hope that you all heal. And if you're part of the family watching this, help with the healing process, I'd like to send you the frontline flag that I ran with tonight in his honor, as was a handwritten note as well in here's honor. I want to thank everybody else, everybody who came out tonight from the U.S. Border Patrol, um, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, who left a little bit early, um, the Maitland Police Department, the Central Florida First Responders by Pipes and Drums, as well as the Orange County Sheriff's Office, as well as uh, supporters and my whole family for coming out tonight. I know it means so much to the whole entire family. If you did join me in this run, even if you were on the um, phone watching it tonight as well. If all of you would like to join me in honor of this fallen firefighter, fire chief, in a 44 second moment of silence, each second day, can one amazing year he served as a firefighter, and each second day, can one amazing day he had during his life in general. Please do, because during this 44 seconds, you don't know how much it will be to the family through the hard time you're going through. Following that will be a prayer for all three fallen heroes we ran for tonight. Uh, but before we do that, bow back and bow our heads in this 44 second moment of silence. Please do. Thank you very much for doing that 44 second moment of silence. Now, if all of you one more time would like to bow your heads, um, this time in, in memory of all three fallen heroes I ran for tonight. God, unfortunately, we've had to come out here do three more miles, and unfortunately, it's actually the first time we've ran three miles in honor of one each uh, fallen first responder that we honor. Um, the first one was for a fallen U.S. Border Patrol agent, the second one was for a fallen police officer, and the third one was for a fallen fire chief. I know all three, um, all three first responder departments and uh, families of these fallen heroes are going through a hard time because I know they're spread out across America, all three of these fallen heroes. Uh, so God, watch over all three families tonight as they're going through a difficult time because all, uh, all of these people we ran for tonight lost their life in the month of March. So it's very new for these families to have to go through this pain. And God, just let them know that it's okay. They're looking down right now in heaven and there's still comfort for these fallen families. Um, through these runs and through support, and there's lots of people that will make sure their fallen hero will never be forgotten. God, uh, I also want to, I also, um, to please watch over all first responders tonight as I go into line duty, even if there's some I don't run for, like doctors or EMT, because the least thing I want to know is that when I wake up tomorrow, that there's another phone here to have to run for, so God, please keep all first responders safe as they're going to night shift tonight across America. And God, thank you for putting amazing first responders on the line, which is basically our angels on earth. And like I said, let's hope we don't lose any more angels on earth in the next few days to become angels in heaven with you. Um, God, thank you again for all your support. And just thank you again for putting amazing first responders on the front line who are brave enough to go out there and serve and protect their community. Once again, thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Thank you all very much for joining me in these three runs tonight. I want to thank the U.S. Border Patrol for coming out for the first run as well for support one of their fallen heroes. I know it's uh, not not a lot that they that we lose fallen Border Patrol agents and have to come out with the Green Line flag, but unfortunately we had to do that one again. Um, and you know, just send uh, words of encouragement to the families if they're watching, because I know that we have lots of people who knew these fallen heroes who are watching the run tonight. So thank you very much for joining me to help out these fallen heroes. Uh, we have. We, we, we were in Tennessee for a week, so we are just a little bit behind um, when it comes to first responders and line of duty. Um, we're going to be doing three runs tomorrow, three runs on Wednesday. Thursday is not decided, but I think we are going to be running uh, at least one or two um, because we are going to Delaware over the weekend. Um, so I cannot wait to go up there. So we're going to be running quite a few miles in the next few days. So if all of that can join me in these next few days on the stream, Please do, because it'll mean so much to the family when I'm running for them. If you do just join me in that, uh, in these, um, in those runs. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you have a, a safe night, especially if you're a first part written tonight. Thank you again for watching again, and I pray God blesses you all.